Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about application of derivative. So now I will show you how to answer. Question A. On the question, they want to test in the end boys. That means for question A, we have 0 and 2B in here. So we need to put about number 0 and 2B for this function. So I will put number 0 goes here and 2B goes here. So we have about 5 minus 3 over 2 with the square root of number 3. About this one, we have the same. Now, the next one, we need to find about critical numbers. To do about this one, we need to find first the derivative of ht. First, the derivative of psi, we have cosine. Later that, we continue to do first the derivative of this one. First, the derivative of 2t, you have number 2. This one is about the constant. So you got about 0. Similar for this one, this is about the constant. So you got about 0. Next, we need to put first the derivative equals to number 0. That means this one equals to number 0. So we just have only cosine 2t minus b over 3 equals to number 0. So we just have 2t minus b over 3 equals to b over 2 plus kb. And we know that k should belong to integers. Next, I will put this one going here, and later that we divide both sides by number 2. So we have 5b over 12 plus kb over 2. So we want to find the value belongs to from 0 to 2b. So t should be between number 0 and 2b in here. Now we put this one going here. So we put this one on the left and on the right and later that we divide both sides by b over 2. Two b minus 5b over 12 
divided by b over 2, you got about 19 over 6. Because the k should be about integers, so k equals to we need to find the value the k between this interval so k should be about 0 1 2 and number 3 so when k equals to number 0 we can find the value of t in here When k equal to number 0, we put number 0 in here. So t equal to 5b over 3. When k equals to number 1, we have 11b over 3. The next one. We have 17B over 12. And the last one, that is about 23B over 12. So, after we got this one, we can put into the function in here. So this one we have number 8, this one we have number 2, this one we have number 8, this one we have number 2, so we compare these values and these values in here so we see that this is about maximum and this is about minimum so this is about maximum and this is about minimum so you can do by yourself for question b this is similar for the technique for question A. This is the end. Thank you for watching.